Hey guys, it's Jules and I'm coming to you on day 49 of my juice fast. And something really different has been happening with me lately. Today I'm going to tell you about what it feels like to have a spiritual awakening. That is what I've been going through in these last few days. And I feel as though you kind of hear these people talking about spiritual awakenings and you think, yeah, that sounds really cool. I'd love to have that happen to me, but is it real? Is it really something that I could do to become spiritually enlightened? It is, it's true, it's all true. It takes a while and you need to be patient, but eventually you can feel the energy of the earth. You can feel the energy inside of you and it's different and it starts to free flow in and out and in and out with the trees and the and the earth and it's important to connect with nature especially when you're on a juice cleanse so you see i have no shoes on i'm connecting barefoot with mother nature and i'm feeling her energy come up through my feet and into my body and that's a real feeling that i get when i come outside and i take off my shoes and I get that feeling also when I drink juice. I feel the juice is energy coming into my body. Just become highly aware of the energy in everything. Ways you can increase the likelihood of a spiritual awakening. Go outside and let the sun shine down on you. Be in nature. Be in a calm state of mind. And just think about the light. Focus on the light and getting it inside of you. Once you're on day 49 like me, the flow is going, but I really don't know how much more I have left to go. Everybody's individual when you're clearing out the colon and you're going the distance so that you can start fresh with the first time in your life having a not backed up colon, a clear colon so that your energy and your foods can, which is your energy, can flow through your body and come out in a timely fashion so that you have no blockages physically or spiritually. I've never been a religious person, but once I got to this last few days or even the last couple weeks, I have felt as though I am filled with the divine spirit. And that is not something that I, that I grew up learning. Um, mostly my relationship with God, if you want to call it that, or my higher power, has just been when I'm in trouble and I, I'm in a bad situation and I say, oh, please, dear God, help me with this or help me with that. And that felt not correct. I mean, what kind of friendship would it be if you were only calling someone when you needed help. So I'm not in any way talking about religion in this video. I was raised with an atheist father and a non-denominational spiritual mother. And I am talking about spirituality in this video. So just feeling connected to everything, feeling connected to the earth, feeling like you belong in nature. That's where you're happiest. That's where you're supposed to be feeling like you are safe, connected and safe. And you have this amazing feeling inside your head like you can do anything and you're chosen, you're special, you're able to do anything because you found the light and now the light is within you. I want everyone to experience this. And yes, I'm on day 49 and that sounds overwhelming, but after the third week, honestly, this juice fast has gotten so easy. It's not easy in terms of the healing crises or the detox symptoms, which I just had yesterday and I was exhausted the whole day, but it's easy in terms of not eating. Not eating becomes easy. You make it to the third week, I'd say, and you just put too much time and energy into the beginning of the cleanse to really mess it up going forward. So you're determined, you're strong, but honestly your brain, it just clicks off and you no longer, you no longer desire food because you see in the toilet, you know that you are 
getting better each day. You feel this light growing in you and you by no means want to shut that process down because it's so incredible and so exciting. So make it to the third week, make it to the third day. The third day is a huge triumph in itself. And after the first 10 days, it gets easier after that. And it just keeps getting easier in terms of not breaking the cleanse. But like I said yesterday, day 48, I did, I did feel really down mentally and down physically. And I just wanted to lay around all day. But day 47, was different. Day 47, we woke up, we went for a bike ride, and we found a new area of the river that we had never been to. We saw a man and his dog swimming in the river, and we played in the river ourselves. I took off my shoes, and I stepped in the cold river, and we just stayed there in the peace of Mother Nature for the first 30 minutes of our day. It was a beautiful day and we rode our bikes so we were getting physical activity, get, getting the lymph system going because the lymph system has no pump. You need to move to get it going and this is very important for detox. So we try to do this every day, a little light exercise. But we started the day with that and that just really like pivoted me into this, this ascended level of life that I hadn't been to too much in the past unless I was on drugs or something. And yes, I did take drugs as a teenager. And this is similar, except that you are clear, you have clarity and you're not hurting yourself in any way. So there's not like a come down. And so I was just riding my bike and enjoying the day with my daughter. And I just kind of felt like I knew things, like things were just popping into my brain like telling me things and they were all really good things and they were calming and confident building and everything just seemed to be amazing and colors seemed to be brighter everything seemed to be brighter and more beautiful I just had a sense that I was meant for greatness and that I was on my way there yeah so when you get to this level you will feel it and then you, you have the belief in everything else all of a sudden. Oh wait, that crazy spiritual person I saw on Instagram or this person that was talking about this, they were on to something. They weren't just making it up. They weren't, it wasn't only meant for them. It's meant for everyone. And the thing is that when we look at all the fake foods out there, Doritos and ice cream and even the fake meat, um, impossible burgers, you know, whatever you think you're eating that's vegan, that's supposed to be healthy, it's not real if it didn't grow in the earth for you by plants and trees. That's my, that is my set of rules. If it wasn't grown by na Mother Nature, has no ingredients, just the one, is biodegradable, then it's probably not going to bring you to a higher vibration. And so that in itself is the best motivation for healing your body by doing the juice cleanse, getting out the old sludge and the serpent, as John Rose would say, and allowing yourself to digest living raw foods in the fullest form by being able to digest with a clean system, which you've never had before. So we don't know how it feels to feel this good. We don't even think it exists. We're also used to walking around unwell. And Danny and I, we were raw vegans. Danny's a vegan of 17 years, raw vegan off and on for 10 years. I'm a vegan for four years, vegetarian for 12 years. We both haven't been backed up at all in the last four years. However, there is still an excess of waste inside our colons that is showing itself now. Be able to let the light and the energy flow through you, you need to unclog the pipes of your body. Then once you do that, you're gonna wake up one day just like I did two days ago and you're gonna say, wow, I've never felt life like this. I've never felt so alive. I've never felt so in touch and I just know things and I'm protected by the divine. We are trying to sell our house right now and yesterday I had a message come to me from the universe 
And now these things all sound pretty silly unless you've experienced it. So go ahead and give it a try. Don't knock it until you try it. But I had a message from the universe and it just popped into my head as I was trying to clean the kitchen and keep things perfect for the showing. And it said, don't worry, they are coming to buy the house whether you clean or not. And it just filled my brain, this positive, confident knowing, knowing that things were going to be fine and everything was going to work out. And that's what everybody's looking for in churches and in temples and in mosques. But the truth is, it's all about freeing yourself and freeing your body of extra waste. That way you can get flowing, the energy and the messages can flow in from the universe and you can be a part of it all. If you are stopped up, you're kind of just floating around disconnected, disconnected and unhappy. And a lot of people think they need medication to feel happier, but really all you need to do is get the stuff out. Once you see it in the toilet, you're going to you're going to know, wow. All I was walking around with all that inside of me, even if you're healthy. I told you we're not coming from unhealthy backgrounds here. We didn't have any illness. We're only doing this to reach our optimal level of health, which less than 1% of the world ever even reaches nowadays because of all the fake foods and then we're treated with medications which can't cure. Only food can cure. Only juice can cure. So when you stop the digestion, you start putting in juices, they go across the bloodstream directly into your body and you start to glow and feel the light and suddenly you know how amazing life is and how incredible this journey really is and you want to keep going.